Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Wow, the Sun. There could be a Leo who is admiring you um, and who is about to make themselves known. We have the Ten of Wands, the Empress, we have Taurus, we have Virgo there. We have a high priestess in reverse. We have Pisces energy. Yeah, it looks like you have an admirer, someone who thinks you are absolutely <laughs> captivating, beautiful. It's something that they have been thinking for some time. Um, it could have been weighing on them as well. This could be someone who's trying to figure out how you feel about them as well. Um, for some of you, you could know this person through work or a hobby, something like that. Um, also, I'm seeing to attract in new love new romantic opportunities that's of a high caliber you know something that's really worth your time um the best thing to do is actually focus on yourself focus on being you know the happiest version of you right now in the highest vibration you can possibly be in which you know i know we always hear that sort of thing but it's really true okay what else please the eight of pentacles in reverse for some of you specifically if you are leaving a job or you just have, you might find out that one of your ex-colleagues um, has feelings and is now going to ask you on a date or something like that. They could have been waiting for um, for your dynamic to change, especially if this is someone who's maybe a supervisor, a manager, or if you were their manager or something. And you know, it might have you might have started on a bit of, of um, like an uneven footing. Yeah, we have the four of wands in reverse, but do you see it's with the sun? It's like someone here is happy that some kind of existing foundation has gone. It's like we get to continue to know each other, but the parameters in which we originally met have changed, and now that frees me up to ask you out or to, to let you know how I feel. For some of you, you could have lived close by to this person, and for some reason, maybe that made things awkward, and now there's more distance, they feel okay to approach. Um, for others of you, it could be you are moving or you are changing something up, and when you do, you're going to meet this person. Maybe you're enrolling on a course or, you know, you're um, changing where you worship or go to the gym or you're trying a new restaurant or something like that. And you meet someone. Um, and I feel like there's almost an instant instant sense of, of knowing, you know, we, we're getting on really well. Um, we're clicking here. It feels like there's a lot of potential. And both of you know this. The dog here is making me feel like there's a lot of um, the potential for a lot of loyalty within this uh, connection that's coming in for you, if you want it. Um, not the loyalty, you know, the connection. I also feel you're very protected. I don't know if you... Um, consider yourself to be very intuitive maybe quite spiritual but i feel you do have protection around you in a spiritual sense maybe guides ancestors that sort of thing very protective of you it's almost like they're checking out this other person um you know before they decide whether they should stand back and let you get fully involved or not so i'm not seeing any risk of like um you know disappointment any nasty surprises any heartbreak or anything like that we have the devil could be capricorn here this is the thing this card is pretty intense i mean this this devil here is huge but you know we in this ten of wands she's holding this light she doesn't look stressed normally the ten of wands is a card of carrying a heavy burden it's normally you know a man with his back sort of bent over if we think of the rider Waite smith deck she's she's carrying them with ease because she has this knowledge she has this light represented by this orb she has this intuition and she does have i believe it's tarot cards around her so maybe you are readers as well maybe you know you just really trust your inner knowing and it's almost like she's she's heading towards this huge figure here this huge threat but it's not actually a threat she's very relaxed because she knows um she sees it coming she knows she can deal with it so i don't feel that you there's no threat here that you know you're going to be deceived or taken by surprise or anything like that i also feel this could be a very passionate steamy connection straight off the bat but it's almost like you're saying okay one step at a time um i'm not going to get carried away i'm not going to do anything that makes me lose my head um it, it's like you're always in control is what i'm seeing here Yes, and we have the King of Cups. Wow. So this person is mature. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they're very mature within their feelings, very confident. Um, 
They could be someone who it's hard to read initially what they feel. Um, the King of Cups, you know, he feels very deeply. It could be he or she, I'm just saying he because of the card. So this person feels very deeply. Um, they're not necessarily overtly the most romantic, but I get this person is quite expressive in a fun sense here. They're going to let you know they're interested through attention that they give you. They're going to be enthusiastic with anything you share with them, enthusiastic around you. Um, yeah, lo the loyalty, the king here. This is this is someone who's, you know, a good... Um, what's the word? Someone, it, it might be, you know, it, it's. It, I think it's worth you giving them some of your time if you're interested. They're not going to mess you about. They have serious intentions. What I really like here is that they're coming up as a king, but they see you as an empress. So this is someone who feels that they would be reaching by you know <laughs> by, by trying to be with you or date you um and it's not in like a grovelly uncomfortable way you know they're not going to um feel like they need to pinch themselves every five seconds and feel like you're out of their league and they get insecure about it it's not like that it's just like they're thrilled you know if you give them the time here they're just going to be so happy because you know they're doing well for themselves by themselves they're a great catch a king here but it's like you are i don't know they see you as being like a step above and it will be so exciting for them and make them so happy if you give them you know a chance here okay let's have a look what are the intentions of this king of cups please see look at this yeah, we have strength. This person has stamina. They have strength. They're reliable. Um, we also have this infinity symbol, which makes me think of that message that came through about this instant feeling of um, we're getting on pretty well. You know, it doesn't have to be that you instantly both fall in love. I mean, it could be. But, you, you know, you feel like this is this feels easy. It feels effortless. You know, we're really aligning here. I, I'd like to see this person, person again. It's that sort of thing. Um, we have this wounded lion. So you might find there's something very healing about this person maybe for them you know they find you very healing here but um i just feel there's a loyalty there's a strength there's a determination there's a maturity here okay so um let me just look at my oracle decks and see what else could be helpful oh yes let's go to the everyday witch oracle oops this that flipped out um <laughs> hibernation and regeneration so maybe you've been hibernating and we have all these crystals around maybe you've been working on yourself your spirituality you know focusing on yourself and your own journey and this person could have been seeing you and thinking okay i don't want to approach you yet it doesn't seem like you're open maybe to my advances but something's going to change they're going to feel like they have an in and if this isn't you it could have been them you know maybe they were doing the healing here but I feel, you know, it's a classic thing of when you're not really bothered, you're not really searching for anyone, um, someone shows up. Okay, what else, please? We have fire magic. Yeah, there's a lot of passion here. But at the same time, um, sometimes, you know, connection situations that are full of passion and they're not grounded, they can start to feel a bit toxic, a bit confusing, unhealthy. You're just not going to let that happen. It's like, great, I love this passion. I don't want to curb it. I don't want to minimize it. But at the same time, I'm in control. It's not controlling me. Okay, so I will leave this here. I hope this has helped. I hope maybe you, you know, you might have a sense of who this is now around you, possibly, if they're already around you. And I do feel like for a lot of you, they are. They've been watching you, um, waiting for the right time to approach. If this isn't someone around you already, they come in when you're doing something that's fun, you're, you're feeling happy could be you know it could be somewhere where you're out these people are literally dancing here um just really anything that you know lights you up and they really admire that they like seeing you in that energy okay so i'm going to clear this up and we'll move on to those of you who are in an active um relationship partnership and maybe you're just wanting to check in you know how is my my person my partner how are they um feeling you know is there anything they're wanting to share but not 
is everything okay how do they see me you know that sort of thing so let's have a look and see so spirit for my viewers who are partnered who are in a relationship and they're here wanting to know about their existing relationship what would you like to bring through please Temperance, so that's a pretty good start. You know, um, maybe both of you feeling that things are relatively balanced here. This could be talking about emotions are balanced. There's equal give and take. Um, you might be on the same page in terms of ideas, hopes for the future. If you're wondering, um, you know, we've not really spoken so much about where we see this heading. I wonder if we share the same vision long term. That's a good indication. We have Sagittarius there. Wow, we have this King of Cups again. High Priestess in the reverse. And we have the Magician in reverse. So we have uh, Pisces, we have Gemini here. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, if, um, if this is someone you've recently come together with, maybe you were dating and excuse me now it's become official you might be wondering if you knew this person was maybe speaking with other people dating other people you know have they really finished with those people are they still talking to them the answer here is yes it's just you know we've gone from three down to two um i also feel that that there's a feeling of your person wanting to maybe slow things down a bit like is it they not with you but they want more time with just you if you have a kind of a busy lifestyle if maybe you're often doing things out or with other people with friends it's like they really want some quality time with you you know to slow the pace down a little to have you all to themselves four of pentacles this person here wow and um, the person you're in a relationship with their heart is really really opening and if it's you know if this is long term if their heart's already open i see that it remains open um and it's almost like it's so cheesy it's like <laughs> but every it's like every day they sort of you know fall in love with you more is what i'm seeing four of pentacles in the reverse here they are opening up <clears throat> more and more okay the high priestess with the ten of cups reverse the magician reverse with the hangman in reverse there seems to be something that's needing to be discussed or said between you they could be wondering something that they're a bit afraid to ask tell us more about this please high priestess ten of cups in reverse strength okay so, yeah ten of wands and the page of pentacles so for some of you there could be a, um, a sensitive topic around children or a child or a family um something to do with family whether it's their family your family your own family you created together or the potential it could be a person it seems like they're falling deeper and deeper and deeper in in love with you but in love with this connection with everything you're building they might be getting to the point for those of you who don't already have a family where they they want to know do you see yourself having a family with them but they're kind of nervous to ask and they're trying to figure it out because if you say no it, you know they might be very upset or something like that they might be wondering is now the right time to you know to have a family um i feel for some of you there's pain here though there's something that's happened in the past around a child or children or family or some sort of a, something um that's like a, a wounding or something a bit toxic it could be like a childhood wound that one of you has brought with you into the relationship and now it's time to discuss this and um try to resolve it and heal it so it doesn't impact the both of you moving forward something like that or if it's something that's happened between you and you've mostly resolved it but it lingers in the background um it could be that one you know one or both of you is thinking maybe we need to complete healing around this we need to bring this up again and properly resolve it because it's a bit of an elephant in the room you know and everything else seems to be really good here okay so the magician reversed with the hanged man justice in the reverse libra we have the ace of pentacles and we have the queen of wands if things are on the rocks so they, i don't know why i said that i never say that is that even the expression on the rocks i read it in a book recently okay hold on i'm going somewhere with this um 
and it was talking about how in maybe maybe in the west on the rocks means something is is not doing so well whereas maybe in the east or something like that and you can correct me if you know um it means something is on a strong foundation like it's built on a rock so okay coming back to your reading is there some sort of a misunderstanding about a phrase or something that's been said some sort of perspective and you both think you've agreed you've understood each other's perspective but there's some kind of a misalignment here misunderstanding um could be that the both of you are from different cultures and that's something that's that's being worked out you're trying to find a balance here with that what was the book i wonder if that's relevant it might have been about manifestation and we do have the magician here so i almost get the feeling both of there's there's something here both of you want to manifest with this ace of pentacles <clears throat> but it could be something you have to agree around timing or you don't quite you're not quite seeing that both of you want the same thing but you're coming towards it from different angles here specifically you the viewer if there's something you feel impassioned about excited about something you want to begin it's almost like there's a feeling of mourning this because you're thinking well okay fine it's not going to happen but it feels unfair it's something i need or it's something i want but actually spirit saying yes so you know your, your partner wants this too but there's just been a misunderstanding let me see, what's the guidance and advice around this, please? Yeah, look, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It might seem like, well, that's not going to happen, but actually both of you want this to happen. Yeah, Ace of Wands reversed. Six of Coins reversed. So you might feel like they're being selfish, or if it's flipped, they might feel like it's something they need, and, and you're being selfish, and they're not getting it. And it's like you can't put it to rest, or they can't. Two of Wands reversed, and we have the Sun on its side. So it may, you know, it might be that one, one of you is thinking, okay, if if this is a make or break for me, if this doesn't happen, if it can't happen, I have to leave. And the other person's really stressing, thinking, I don't want you to go. The sun on its side, this is the thing. Things might seem like they're clear, but they're not. It's worth going back and having this conversation again. And maybe doing some of those techniques that seem maybe a bit excessive, but they're really helpful. You know, you say something and then the person says to you what they heard you say or what they think they mean by what you've said rather than just saying, okay, you know, so, like you're really clarifying with each other because it feels like a big thing and someone here both of you want it and someone's starting to think well clearly i'm not getting it i'm gonna have to move on but it's not true you know the potential for this is still very much here there's just been some misunderstanding okay so whether this is new old somewhere in the middle um there are deep feelings here i, I think you know i'm seeing potentially there's something that's happened that's resurfacing to be completely resolved and transmuted um there's a potential blockage here for some where you know this ace of pentacles i want to make this happen you actually can both get on the same page but you know again it's about revisiting here um okay so let's go with this deck for some more ow insight and information okay oh that's a tarot deck i thought i picked up the oracle deck of that okay i'll go and get the the one in a minute that i wanted to use okay what messages do you have please for my viewers who are partnered here Oh my goodness, look at this, communication. Wow, exactly. So it's all about communication, whether it's about healing something from the past and letting it go once and for all, whether it's um, communication about this potential opportunity that feels like maybe it's not gonna happen, but actually it really can happen. Um, maybe it's communication if this is a newer thing about, okay, so this is getting kind of serious or this seems to have been going on for some time now, should we plan something for the future or you know that kind of thing okay wonder how that other per other person's feeling ask them wish they knew how you were feeling tell them 
You've just been drafted into the communication army where there is a strict do ask, do tell policy. Speak with kindness and gentleness and reach an understanding. If you don't, assumption will just make asses out of everyone, including the person who came up with that aphorism. That's why I get justice in reverse. Um, it feels like there hasn't been an understanding here. Something feels imbalanced and unfair. We also have positive thinking. In the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want, and I take a lawnmower to that jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. Now, this feels like a message for those of you where something from the past, you know, is is almost tainting what seems otherwise to be a very good, healthy and strong relationship. And it's it's kind of about trying to transmute that once and for all. And we have gratitude. Uh, today I am grateful for all of the little things, even when the big things suck, there are always plenty of little things I can at least, I can be at least a little grateful for, like hot showers and music, and the fact that humans invented an internet, and I'm allowed to use it whenever I want to, um, using fingers and thumbs to do whatever I think them to do at any given moment. Okay, <laughs> gratitude is always a good thing though, I suppose. Okay, let me get that other deck. Okay, so, let's see. Okay, Spirit, what final messages do you have, please, for my viewers who are in a partnership, a relationship? 28, can you hear me? Wow, again, another card around communication. Now, look how the bottom half of her is this shell. She may think she's spoken loudly and clearly, and it would be impossible for the other person to not have heard or to have misunderstood, but maybe actually she was only communicating with this tiny shell down here. So honestly, if you're watching this and you're thinking, that's a good message, it's nice, but in my situation, there is no way, there is just no room for any misunderstanding. There's no point bringing this up again. I still maintain, you know, there is, there is a point with this communication here. Maybe it's about, you know, trying a different approach. It could even be maybe, um, you know, enlist the help of a professional, you know, like um, talking therapy or something. So you can both go together and that person who is qualified and trained can help facilitate the discussion in a way you haven't been able to have it before. Um, OK, so I will leave this bit here and then we'll move into um, if you are you have someone in mind, but you're in separation. Um, okay. I think what I'll do is pause, clear these cards away, and get us a new candle as that has just gone out. Okay, so I forgot to say at the start, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link to do so is below. Okay, so let's have a look. If you have someone in mind and you're in separation, let's see what's going on here. So, Spirit, what messages do you have? please for my viewers who are in separation from their person okay six of wands and the ace of wands in the reverse <clears throat> well it could feel like a huge absolute um you know lack of success here because you might be thinking okay we had this opportunity it did not go how i wanted it to go and yet i i'm still thinking of you i'm still feeling you you know the two of cups here i'm convinced we have something very special and i feel with the two of cups it's always about equality and something mutual here equal give and take and we do have these you know lights i think um you know, going up here to make this yin and, and yang together here. So I do feel the feelings are shared, even if you're not talking, you know, if, if you're in no communication and a separation here, complete silence, um, the feelings are still mutual. They are still thinking of you if you're thinking of them. It's like they understand as well that um, this is a very special, unique connection here, a soul connection, maybe a past life connection. Um, you see how in this card, the man here is looking at the woman and she's looking at um, whatever this potion is they're making together. So that makes me think of the lovers, where it's normally the man looking at the woman, the woman's looking at the angel. Um, so, you know, yes, a very, very deep, strong connection that your person is recognising and thinking about. But 
Also, your person has been and is more focused on you than you may actually realise. He's looking at her, but he's not saying anything. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. We have two cards of progress being stopped, time being stopped. And it sounds cheesy, I know, but maybe they feel like time stopped, you know, when they met you and they haven't been able to progress past you and move on and meet anyone else. Or if they even did, they haven't been able to grow that situation as they thought they would be able to. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. So it could be both of you or one of you. You know, well, I think it's both, you know thinking about this worrying about it thinking you know we had that chance what happened is it coming back around yeah ace of swords okay ten of pentacles reverse for some of you there's a third party um, marriage family relationship and that that seems to not be really progressing it could be that it's on one side or both of you have different you know or other other situations um outside of this connection and you might be feeling both of you like well that situation's not really it's not really you know going anywhere anymore um it, it might even be something that one or both of you are wanting to leave okay so ace of swords under the two of cups both of you have this huge knowing recognition um and it could be that this has has really been solidified in your mind through separation that this is something very special um you know often i will see when there's a separation if there's been a runner chaser dynamic whoever was running starts to realize i don't want to run anymore and i'm still thinking about you i'm still thinking about this connection which tells me it's something very different here um okay there's a feeling of looking back a lot as well thinking about the success that could have already come to light so someone may have some regret whether it's you or whether it's your person but what i will say is i don't know usually usually especially in these high vibrational soul connections soulmates twin flames it really couldn't have been the success that, that maybe we're thinking looking back there needed to be this time of growth transition separation so if you know it's almost like it's not worth sort of beating ourselves up and saying well it could have been good then and we had a chance then because it it was never supposed to go that way you know it, it kind of never would have worked out that way anyway so um yeah just in case i don't know if, if it's you or if it's your person who's saying you know damn it i should have woken up sooner um that's kind of not really that helpful <laughs> you know it, it's almost like it, you don't don't beat yourself up about that if that is you if it's your person you know hopefully they're not doing too, too much of that either but maybe thinking about how they would like to make changes moving forward i actually want to pull some message cards which i wasn't intending to do but let's see what are their messages for you here whoa oh my goodness and i was just talking about the runner chaser dynamic and we have chaser i don't want to chase anymore holding back i should have expressed myself better that's exactly it they were so into you focused on you but didn't really say it we have mend i want to fix our connection unworthy you're a better person than i am and we have ego i let my pride get in the way of our connection and the six of wands can talk about ego so maybe it's your person beating themselves up saying oh i, sh I should have been less prideful or i shouldn't have been so worried about what other people would think i should have woken up sooner unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss so they feel that things are not done here between you okay let's have a look at the energy that's coming into this connection this situation we have insecurity someone could be feeling insecure around money home their position at work or in life um looking at this root or the red corresponding to the root chakra here <coughs> we have quest and we have facade so okay i always feel like this is your person because they were um you know running before it's like they they've stopped running and now they're going on this inner quest to try and find out the truth of things the truth of how they really feel to see beyond their ego to push beyond the facade they've been projecting and maybe find the strength to actually show you and the world who they really are this card here with her arms out it's making me think of um the justice card you know so balance here else please 
expansion. Yeah, there is something they want to say to you. Well, we looked at their messages. Um, so this person that you're watching this for, they're not done. They plan to come back around. They want expansion here. And I think they've made some really important changes. I think their journey isn't finished yet in terms of this particular period of growth. Um, but they are looking back and they do seem to hold on to some regret. We have clairvoyance. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So you could be seeing signs, synchronicities, getting confirmation that this connection is still a real present thing, especially if you've been in separation for some time. You have brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So if you've had an idea, it seems to come out of nowhere. It could be that it's, that, you know, it, it was, it is divinely guided. So trust that, um, trust that feeling you're having, even if it doesn't logically make sense just yet. And we have prioritized. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So that's Archangel Metatron there. Okay. It seems you're kind of busy or you could potentially be quite busy. Something maybe outside of this connection um, could be to do with work, an interest, a hobby. Um, some, starting something new, some, you know, a passion project, something like that. And you might be thinking, that's kind of random. Where did that come from? But um, there's a reason. It doesn't, I don't think it's completely clear yet. But as you move forward with this, it will start to make sense. And it's, it's something that will be fun. So it's not something that makes you feel like you're putting yourself too far out there. It's not scary. It's um, even if it's a bit challenging in some way, it's kind of exciting. You know, it feels like expansion. OK, what else, please? So for my viewer in separation from their person, what final message do you have? We have Penguin, the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Yeah, exactly. So there's a new um, energy coming into your connection. We have Ladybug. This is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. And I think, I think one of these good things trying to bring an abundance for you is this idea that you've had. Okay, or may have very soon. We have polar bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. So for some of you, this idea could centre around communication, speech, whether it's written communication. Um, this could also be saying in any sort of reconnection with your person, you know, stand your ground, um, do speak up for yourself. But, you know, um, obviously we want to be more of like... Um, like a, maybe a king of swords versus a knight of swords you know we don't want to sort of be a bit you know hot-headed here <laughs> um but I, I don't really see that being a problem to be honest for you okay so i will leave this here so thank you so much for watching i hope this helped um also just to mention you might be seeing or you might want to have a look at the number 3333 and see if that has meaning um, or an additional message for you if you've been seeing that number, that could be confirmation that this is your reading as well. Okay, awesome. So hopefully see you soon. Bye.